Well, good luck in your homework and shit, broke. Hopefully, you finish all your shit in time to enjoy a couple days off. I know this time of the semester is extra fucking fuckity. Just curious if uh, you can hear me all right. A good mix of the music and my dumbass. Sweet, thanks, bro. So the game I'm playing right now is a game called Trojan. No, it's not about condoms. It's almost like Kung Fu. It's like one of these forgotten about games. That as a kid was like so fucking huge to me. Like they wanted it to be another big franchise. Dead. It's too long, I forget all the tricks. I like how to beat all these guys. Son of a fuck, no. Fuck balls, douche stain, poopy cocks. Dungity doo doo. And there's no fucking continues. One more time. Dirty poopy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on, you little green goblin looking son of a bitch. I don't remember an extra life being around here somewhere. It's amazing the things you remember when you, when you played games as a kid. Like, you sometimes, like, you kind of remember things that happened in those games, but... Oh, ball sweat. Come on, my rhythm now. I'd say all video games probably came from pinball, but <laughs> especially side scrolling type games of this generation, it's all rhythm. Like, not this like, combination of not paying attention and paying attention. one of the cooler, as a kid, one of the cooler aspects of this game, you can get your, you can, realistically, I guess it's not that cool, but you can lose your sword and shield if you block the wrong kind of thing, and then you turn into punching and kicking. For some reason, as a kid, like, little things like that, like, meant so much to, like, break up the monotony of the game. Fuck yes, motherfucker. It's true, everything in life is rhythm, broke. This is a true story. When I was... When I was young, I was the most uncoordinated piece of shit in the world. Like, it's still pretty uncoordinated, but, like, I could never play, like, sports. It was not because I wasn't fast or was or that I couldn't, like, compete, but I'd always be, like, klutzy the poop and fuck some shit up, you know, like hurt myself, or they called me air psychotic when I played basketball because I would just, like, end up hitting myself in the head with the basketball. But I, especially basketball, I like playing. I mean, I played football, but you can be clumsy in football and just use raw force. So, but, like, I played basketball and I couldn't dribble. Like, I literally couldn't dribble to save my fucking life. And then around that time period, around junior year in high school, I started playing bongos. And at first was all energy and didn't have any rhythm. But then I got myself a Metrodome. And, or actually, when my cousin got me a Metrodome. He's like, you're pretty good. Learn rhythm. And it's still something I struggle with. But after I learned rhythm, like just from playing my drums, like it's so weird. I could suddenly dribble a basketball. Just because it was like one, two, one, two, one, two. Like, like everything is like the rhythm is everything from sex to sports to anything to pacing. I've known many people, whether it be a guy or a girl talking about sex, it's not necessarily always about fast, it's, you know, it's a steady rhythm. If the rhythm's erratic, it's kind of tough to uh, enjoy yourself in a lot of ways. Not talking about varied pace, I'm just talking about. <laughs> that was a random uh, aside from your, uh, from your innocuous comment there. <laughs> Whoops. Just let my, uh... I mean, your fucking comment there, dude. Innocuous. Using words like innocuous on a video game stream. Oh. What a fucking turd I am. <laughs> I 
This is my least favorite fucking guy in the whole game. Fuck. Oh, you ball sweat. Literally. Get green balls from this guy. Fuck, I'm getting flashbacks of being horrible at the gym, even when it was Team Dodgeball. Was good. Yeah, that was me, broke. Like, literally, I was always the wor last one chosen, because I was so uncoordinated that, like, I'd get a few good moves, maybe, a game, but I'd always end up costing the team some big fucking shit. Oh, just an aside heads up. When... When winter starts, I'm going to start doing Game of Thrones stuff again. And the first one is going to be that Cersei thing. So, whichever character I'm doing, I'm going to try to find somebody that's like, that's their favorite character. And then, it could be 30 seconds, could be two minutes, could be a call, could, you could send me some audio, we could patch you in during the stream if you're around, but love to have you for the Cersei one. I've talked about it a few times, but I'm gonna try to get you for the Cersei one, try to get like other folks that I know that are like certain favorite characters to come on for their favorite characters for just like a couple minute or or to pre-record something. So I'll probably be doing that at the end of December around Christmas time just to kind of give you a timetable on it. Shredhead. Big Apple, 3 a.m. got big balls, I've got big balls, but they've got the biggest balls of them all. I mean, this isn't, an, this isn't a popular opinion here or anything, but this is probably one of my favorite beat-em-ups of all time. Especially home console beat-em-ups. The arcade cabinet's amazing, too. And as much as I do like the arcade cabinet, I think I like the original Ninja Turtles game better in the arcade, but I feel like there's no real amazing home console version of it. I think the Nintendo... Entertainment system console version of it kind of sucks. Cool. The Genesis one is really good too. The something heist or the. I forget what it's called. The Genesis one is very good as well. I like the Spider-Man and Venom games for the Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo. Batman and Robin Adventures are good too for a home console one. I mean, there's a lot of good beat-em-ups. Street, Streets of Rage, been Final Fight, shit like that, but something about Turtles in Time. Ah, 
Sketchy hand. Perverted sounds. It's a fucking rat. And not this rat, it's a fly. Kawabunga! Kawabunga! Alley Cat Blues! Up, I probably have played the most arcade and home included would probably be double drag. Just because I played the fuck out of that game in the arcade when it first came out. Like double dragon may have stolen more money from me in an arcade than in the other game. How's it going to announce this? Oh. I mean, there's no joke with true beat-em-up games. Like, when you're playing them, it's a fucking workout. You know, you're working out your hands. Especially as my old ass gets older. And I get the conga hands from playing too many hand drums. And my hands are old and slow. Like, not slow from congas, but I just mean... Anyone who... And I'm not even just saying this because analysis is out there and he plays congas, but... Imagine, like, I don't even want to say how many years I've played of damage to your hands. Be oh, rough this time. Alley Cat Blues. Fingers can hurt after a while and then add many, many years of action to that. <laughs> Raphael is cool, Babu. Eat my dick, you motherfucking tools. I'd say congas are easily my favorite percussion instrument, but sometimes it's more it hurts a lot less to play a djembe. And I don't hate djembe's. I think they sound very good. 
I'm just more of a, like my style fits congas more than a djembe. Or bongos even more than a djembe. But djembe's are a lot easier on the hands. I wish I became a Timbali player, in retrospect. <laughs> but I tried it, and no matter, like, I'm decent with sticks, but I'll never be as good with sticks as I am with my hands. In a lot of ways, we take that in a sexual way too, broke. No, but, uh... And I like Timbalis and stuff, but I just, there's something about that hand percussion sound. I'm probably a better drum set drummer than I am a Timbali player. I think I played I played Rototoms in high school band, and when I try to play Timbales, I play them too much like Rototoms. I'm not genuine enough to play t Timbales. I'm too influenced by like the Bonhams and not Tito Puentes. Yeah, they're complicated to get right, and I mean, that's part of what makes Tito Puente is one of the greatest musicians ever to live, but because he, 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 he did things on timbales that kind of made me want to play them, but ultimately I realized I'm a conga player. Him and this guy that used to play with Santana, not the guy that Santana played with most recently, one of the Raul whatever, this guy, her name was, his name was Armando something, I forget what his last name was. But he was a guy that Carlos found just like on the street playing and he added him to his band. He was probably the, one of the greatest influences on me like wanting to play the conga drums. But, but as in like percussionists, you know, it was like drummers that like first influenced me like Bonham, Buddy Rich, Mitch Mitchell, Steve Perkins. And then I got into... Then I got into Santana a little bit, and Tito Puentes, and Olin Tanji, Passion of the Drum, great album if you've never listened to it, for, for a percussion album. It's, it's old school, but it's like one of the foundations of playing hand percussion. Olin Tanji, Passion of the Drum. Then I got into like Nicky Hart, playing, playing the drum and shit. And then I started playing congas along to like Beastie Boys albums and shit like that. But I always wanted to be a drummer, but my, my foot just sucks. Like, like I'm such a simplistic drummer drummer. Not bad, but I wanted to be a show-off. <laughs> and then I played bongos for a long time. They were the, my first instrument, but... Bongos are great. And it's great to have bongos in a set, which I don't have a set of bongos right now. I really wish I did, like a really good set of bongos. But... Congas are like... They're just so warm. I love the fucking smell of a conga. Like the inside of a conga has this unique smell that no other thing on Earth has. Like the, it's about the glue in the wood or some, some shit. I don't know, I can't ex quite explain it. Like, the minute I played a conga, I'm like, okay, this is my instrument. Similar sort of thing happened when I played trumpet, but, like, even more with congas. The warmth, the crispness, crispness, the variations of sound you can get on it, all the different things you can do with your hands to create different sounds, all the different stylistic choices, the way it plays, the way it's the closest associate to the foundation of early drums of banging on logs and shit. Like, I know... It comes from, you know, the Cuban thing, but, like, a lot of the drums that were being played in Africa and the early things of the djembe's and stuff like that were all based around the same concept. The conga's, like, the perfect amalgamation of all of it, you know? I like a lot of percussion instruments. I'll play a lot of percussion in instruments, but conga's the best. Give me two, two congas standing up. That's my, uh, that's my preferred playstyle.
Yeah, he is the boss when it came to them, and they are complicated when it came down to them. Oh, shit. Yeah, I would have loved to see Tito Puente. He's one of the greatest percussion soloists ever. Right up there with, like, Bonham and Mitch Mitchell and, and I mean, and uh, Buddy Rich. It's just nothing like a, like a pair of congas. I mean, I know a lot of people do like them sitting down. I tend to like them on a stand at either like comfortable sitting level, but like ro risen above the ground. So dead here too. I'm fucked. What you talking about, fucking? Die, motherfucker! No, give me some pizza. I need some fucking pizza. Yeah! Yeah, bitch! Yeah, bitch! Yeah, bitch! Yeah, bitch! I mean, there's a lot of amazing percussion instruments. I'm just talking about my very favorite. Jimbei's just a lot easier, though. When I gig with rock bands, congas are tough. Unless they're properly mic'd. And it's tough, because to properly mic congas for the way I play congas, I need them, like, really high in the mix. A couple bands I've played in, like, I almost, they almost use my congas as, like, a um, rhythm guitar track or something like that, because I'm, like, I play right in the mix, but... If I play with rock bands, though, I end up playing djembe's just because they're they're mic'd better and easier to hear to hear when nothing else is going on, and they're just good like if you're singing or you're doing like silly theater games and shit. Djembe's have like an unmic for an unmiked thing. They have such a great sound. No, I hear you. Like, I I like to sit down. Sometimes I'm upset that I don't. I wish I sat down more and played congas. I wish I conditioned myself to do that because. But I like being up up so I can like jump around and get silly and stuff. And yeah, when there's when a conga's risen up, and it just you get more of all of the tone of it. You have to tune it a little bit differently. But like I said, Jimbe's are well and good. I'm just not a uh Rat King, die, motherfucker. Yeah, bitch. Gym bays are a different experience. You're, when you play it, it's got like a really big booming sound in the middle. Like when you hit it down, boom. And then the end of it has like a metallic sound to it. So it's good for like straight up soloing on top of like drum circle type stuff. Like if you go to like a hippie festival and you want to play in a drum circle and be really heard, a djembe is the kind of instrument to like cut through and stuff when you're having like a solo off with people. Congas, it's just tough to cut through unless, again, it's like properly mic'd and and like plays for like a certain, you know, certain situation or in like a re record or something. But even then, bongos and congos can blend. It's like different uses, you know, different uses for every instrument. But djembe's are like very boomy. If you've ever seen a timpani drum, like in a band room somewhere, those big drums that Bonham used to play, 
uh, with his hands in Zeppelin solos. And I played them too. They're actually really fun. They have a foot pedal that you can that you can flex the note. If you ever listen to Bonham's song "Remains the Same" solo when he's going in some of his crazy hand drum stuff, he's uh, he's using a timpani drum with his foot to like flex it. Um, it's like a talking drum, like when you're uh, squeezing a talking drum to tighten the skin as you're playing it. But anyways, Jim Bays almost have a booming sound like that, where you hit it in the middle, it's like, boom, it fills the whole room up. Again, they're best played with a strap, or if you're sitting down, like holding them right through your legs, or straddling them and playing on top of them, so that the, uh, so that the, so that the sound goes out. It's even more important than a conga to play, you can't cover the whole of a, of a djembe, and it just won't sound good at all. Uh, because of the hourglass shape of it and the way that the, the, I mean, music's just a vibration going around at like 8,000, 800 miles per hour. And, <laughs> and like to get that vibration strength out the way a gym base, it's like set up like a, whoosh, like a, whoosh. <laughs> sorry, I was going into a little bit of my uh, kids, kids uh, drum show there. It was like, Somehow I've made it through two two boards with uh, zero lives left. I have a feeling this is where this ends. If I'd go into a store, go into like a local music store, a guitar center or something like that, and play a couple of gym bass and see if you like it. You'd be surprised. You never know what kind of uh, percussion instruments might be your percussion instrument until you try it. Technodrome. Kick shout. Might just click with your style, you know, your particular style. I don't think it would work necessarily with the music you were playing because I don't, I don't think Jim Bay sound great. That style, mu style music would be more for yourself, for easy of play, because you can kind of like sit down with it on your lap and shit, and just go, eh, I'm just playing. Or if you ever wanted to go to like hippie festivals and shit like that and play in drum circles and stuff. Ooh, or go to drum circle hippies. Hey, Alan. Is he throwing scissors at me? What kind of ninja throws scissors? I mean, there's so many awesome hand drums and percussion instruments. Jimbe comes from a different, you know, foundation. It's more African than Cuban. We're like Congas and, you know, or South American. Origins. Oh, fuck this game. So it's kind of a different style, but... Oh, I just missed getting that pizza. That sucks. I definitely try it as a hand percussionist. I think you'd enjoy it, Ooh. even just for a, uh, a change up once in a while. It's a little easier on the hands. It's like a baby's toy. Teenage Mutant Sorry, Lettuce. Glad you were able to uh, make it, Alan. I take it you are as crazy of a Ninja Turtle fan as I am. Holy shit, Tokar and Razar. Again, one of the reasons why I love this game. It's the green machine, gonna rock this pot without being seen. Have you ever seen a turtle get down? Slamming and jamming to the new something sound. Ooh, we're about to get wicked. The 
turtles are sinking. Ninja, ninja, rap, ninja, ninja, rap, ninja, ninja, rap. We're the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. T ninja, ninja, rap, ninja, ninja, rap, ninja, ninja, rap. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Fuck. Come on, die, 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 die. Shit, come on, Leo. Don't fail me now. I'm not going through this whole board again. There's two. Oh, puppy, puppy dog. Ninja, ninja. Rap, ninja, ninja, rap, who? We're the green machines in a rap the house of PNC. Have you ever seen a ninja get down? Slay a ninja image with a new character. now. Wish I had the words in front of me. Whenever I beat people up as the Ninja Turtles, or even Batman in the Arkham games, I'm, I'm thinking ninja rap in my head. Ninja, ninja, rap. Or the song at the end of, uh... Or the song at the end of uh, the, the first movie. Oh, yeah. Ah, balls. So the excellent Nickelodeon series that's been on for a while, the CG series, which I think is probably one of the best iterations of the Ninja Turtles ever, is coming to an end. And it's going to be replaced with a new Nickelodeon series. And I'm a little concerned about... I'm feeling it's going to be something I'm not going to like as much. I think it's going to be more geared towards kids, where I feel like the CG series was more geared towards every generation of Ninja Turtles fans. But, but there is some good stuff. It's going back to 2D animation. Raphael's going to be the leader in this one. Yeah, T-U-R-T-L-E power. T-U-R-T-L-E power. T-U-R-T-L-E power. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The Green Machine. Uh, it's, uh, but, but speaking of that song, uh, Raphael's going to be the leader in this new the version. And it's pretty cool. Some of the voice acting is... I, I like the way it's looking. Some good people working on it, so I'm definitely excited for it. I just, I guess I, I really like the most recent series, but it got dark, it got dark and serious. So I get why Nickelodeon's trying to do a more kid-friendly series. Sure you do. Shredhead, come out here and fight me, you pussy! Should be interesting. I like some. I like some of uh, what's being said about it for sure. It can't be worse than the le the next mutation in Venus de Milo Turtle and all that sort of shit. Can't, like it's impossible to be worse than that. Come on! I'm, why am I not good at throwing someone all of a sudden? Oh, no. Fuck 
balls on a poopy. So that's a little bit of Turtles in Time. I'm not powerful enough, I guess, to beat it on my own today. And I'm not. No, I hear you. I, I watched a little bit of Next Mutation. I, I couldn't I couldn't get through it, but if someone was a little it's part of it is my dislike and here here we go where I alienated some people. My dislike for Power Rangers. But like if if someone was into Power Rangers or more accepting or relaxed about that kind of stuff, I could see you getting a little bit more into it. I really liked the uh, 2000 series. I thought that was a very serious take. Obviously, like the original series. Yeah, see, as much as this game means a lot to me that they brought this finally, one of my favorite arcade games, in the home console, I never really liked this version of it. Never really did. <laughs> I just think it looks fugly. Same with this. I mean, Double Dragon, it's just tough for the NES to give any of these, like, higher-end arcade games quality emulation. It was a lot easier on the Super Nintendo or the Genesis. Whoops. I need to add some more, too, analysis. A couple people have been requesting I add some Saturn games and shit like that. I mean, the arcade version of this game looks so sweet. Like, like it looks really different. But at the time, this game was friggin' amazing to have it at home. Ooh. The emulation on the Super Nintendo controller of this of this one's a little weird. I'd have to probably fine tune it. Hey, Omen, great to see you, buddy.
Yep, this weird fucking glitch that you can go up on this thing. Do do do. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Glitchy as shit. God, I love Nintendo. I lost one of my opponents in the Great Abyss. Oh no, she's coming back. You want some too? You want some too? I whip. I'm trying to think of a whip pun. I whip you back. I welcome you back. <laughs> Bye. Ah! <laughs> oh shit, this- these dudes. I can't- the buttons jump! Come on, motherfucker! Yeah, take it. Yeah, that that glitch works in the real Nintendo version of it too. You can just kind of like climb up that wall and glitch it out a little bit. I don't think it works in the arcade. Yep, a boo or some shit like that. So let's do a little uh, double dragon progression here. Play through the Double Dragon games I got here. Ooh. Just played through some Ninja, Ninja Turtles one. So, for the Nintendo, I would say the Double Dragon, Double Dragon emulation of the arcade game is better than the Ninja, Ninja Turtle one. As much as I like, I think I like Ninja Turtles the original one better as a game than Double Dragon? Oh, fuck! I think this emulation's a little bit better than the Ninja Turtle one. Double Dragon movie. <laughs> the Mario movie, to me, has some relative entertaining parts to it, even though it's shitty. I want to do a live watch of that. Are you talking about the movie, the uh, the 2006 movie or whatever it was, with Patrick Stewart? Where's my baseball bat? Starting to come back a little bit. Buffy plays April O'Neil in that, I believe. Are you talking about the movie? Like the uh, the the CG movie? No, he played uh, the leader the the leader of like the stone guys. April's boss. The movie TMNT uh, was this, uh, the CG movie that came out a bunch of years ago. Patrick Stewart uh, did voice in that movie. As well as Lawrence Fishburne was the narrator of it. But Patrick Stewart played the voice of Essentially the main antagonist. Are you guys talking about a different TMNT? I love tape delay. Yeah, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies, there's... 
there's the original 90s movie, Tur Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and there's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Then there's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, or the one where they go back in time, the sucky one. Then there wasn't a turtle movie for a long time. Then the next one is TMN uh, TMNT, which actually did come out in the theater. And that's the one I'm talking about, the CG one. It came out around the time of the the 2000 series. Like, I'm just talking about the movies now. And then there was a long break, and then the two Michael Bay movies came out. But, and then there's also Turtles Forever mixed in there. Didn't come out in the arcade, but it is a movie where the 80s turtles meet the meet the 2000s turtles, and then they like that's where the whole turtle verse thing comes into play. And then there's also a couple of crossover episodes in the 2012 series, the Nickelodeon CG series, that crosses over with the 80s turtles because they had one of them, Frank Welker is that his name, I think maybe. Uh, Blanking on his name, that worked. That was that was Donatello in the 2012 series, and was Raphael in the 80 series. So sorry about that. I don't know if I've played this one. Double Dragon V: The Shadow Falls. Let's try it. So that was a little, uh, turtle nerd, nerd explosion right there. I'd say it, it, there's a lot of things that, like, I know... Oh, is this a, is this a tournament battle? Quest mode? What, what the fuck is this? Quest mode, I guess. What the fuck is this? They don't call him Bimmy. It's a fighting game? Like... The oldest dre... What? I know, that's why I didn't go to Double Dragon 3 right there. I noticed that Double Dragon 2, for some reason, is... is missing. And I didn't want to play Double Dragon 3, because it sucks. So that's why I went to this Double Dragon Super Nintendo that I've literally never heard of before. So that that can't be a good thing. Yeah, CG One was okay, like not good, not bad. The lack of Shredder hurt it. There's a couple good scenes in it. The Leo versus Raph thing was really good. Some of the music choices, like when Black Betty got played, with when uh, Raphael gets his ass kicked, the whole Night Watcher thing is kind of a cool touch. Casey and April aren't annoying as fuck in it. I like. I don't really like Splinter in it. Mikey and Donnie aren't really characters in it. Leo and Raph are the only real characters. But it was alright. It looked good. Like, for the CG at the time, it was like one of the prettier movies, especially that scene with Leo and Raph fighting on the rooftop in the rain. It, like, really looks good. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, there's the Battletoads uh, Double Dragon. I think I might have that. This is a Double Dragon game? Why have I never heard of this game? And why am I playing this game? And why do they have swords? And why... And what's going on with that thing that's blowing snot out of its nose and behind me? Why is there a weird dildo on, in between us? Why is there a cup of tea over there? And what is going on here? Am I hurting him? Why is he doing shuriken's? Well, I, what, what's happening here? I'm so fucking confused. I mean, not that I got my ass kicked, that makes sense. But... What in... What in peculiar penis is going on here? So, okay, so... I think I, think I can just stop being, like... Overdoing it here and trying to write my own angry video game nerd episode. I think what I can say is that... Obviously, it's a fighting game that Double Dragon decided to do, but 
I think this is kind of stupid. If they had even just used these same character models and given me the same sort of thing as the other games, this would have been a cool looking game for the Super Nintendo. Like, I'm finding myself wanting to fight Double Dragon style with these characters. That's why I picked Adventure Mode. Like, I don't. I don't hate putting in a fighting, a versus mode, like something like Way of the Ninja did, Way of the Samurai did, or that game Trojan I was playing earlier, like is a one player game that has a two player option, especially because the arcade double dragon at the end of the game, you had a fight if you fought all the way with your partner that you, that you beat the game with, you had to fight him at the end of the game. You guys get to talk in your middle school lunchroom while having lunch or eat in silence. Uh, broke both. At first we used to get to talk, but we had a unusually unruly group and a principal vacuum for half a semester and, or for half a year. And then a new principal came in. So the old regime let us talk and stuff, but then when he came in, the new principal came in and was like trying to change everything in the school, he he did the silence in the lunchroom thing, which really sucked. No, actually, for whatever it's worth, when I work with kids, I, I joke about this a lot, I'm virtually the same, except instead of saying fuck shit, piss, cocksucker, all those George Carlin stuff, I say golly gee, wibbidi boo, zippity doo da, zippity yay, my oh my, what a wonderful day. Oh, how are you golly doing today? Oh, what's what's this over there? It's a SpongeBob! Oh my goodness, up out out boo, zippity doo, boo, 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 boo. And then he went zip doo ha ha ha. Stupid crap like that. <laughs> so I'm actually pretty good about that. <laughs> Never messed up once. I only I said bum once. And then I realized, and then we we uh, we workshopped it. And the proper word is bottom. Oh, bottom. <laughs> yeah, in middle school I did, not in high school. High school, that's just, would be impossible. I am. I'm excellent with kids. <laughs> I'm one goofy motherfucker. It's basically my thing with kids. It's like you're watching a 45 minute stand up comedy prop show with some education mixed in there f for kids, for families. Like, it's because there are some jokes that are targeted towards adults, but it's more like old school Looney Tunes type humor or Steve Martin prop stuff but it's like musical instruments and each joke is based around teaching kids something about music but where they don't even realize they're learning because they're laughing while they're learning that sort of shit I have to buy weapons played this game. Whoa! Controls are pretty good, a little clumsy. Shit pickle. How? Okay, this is a quick. Sh this this one's a quick shutter offer. I should. What I should really be doing is get a. Uh, I 
exactly broke. They learn without even realizing they're learning, and at the end they're asking me questions about the instruments, like where they came from and stuff like that. That was so silly when you did this and this and this, and I was like, yeah, and this... And then we have a secondary aspect of it where I, you know, after the show I sit down and, like, teach them how to play, play a song or something like that. And there's, like... I've also done in, like, team building exercises for teachers and stuff. Some schools have me come in and work with a bunch of the teachers and teach them how to do a big drum circle. Because drum circles work on communication and all that sort of shit. My problem with being an educator is I'm not good at discipline. I, I'm just not good at it. I can't, like turn the switch and be like stern but their buddy I get all like oh no they're I'm just your buddy I remember this fucking game it's been a while since I played it so there is a Goonies 2 video game it takes place right after the time of the movie. It's a what the fuck, like where the fuck you go kind of game. I don't even know why I turned this on right now. There is a Goonies one, but it was never released in America for some reason. It's a lot better. Oh, I've definitely gone into certain school situations where kids eat me alive. And I can do it, I just don't like to do it. No, they totally do have. This game definitely does a good job at make making feel like the glue the Goonies. Listen to this Zelda music. Totally the Zelda. Exactly. I just have trouble with that stuff, because... I'm either nice, or I'm an asshole. <laughs> it's hard for me to do the subtle dip the subtle. I mean, I've worked in a couple different contexts. I've worked mainly as a children's entertainer, not necessarily an educator. So I'm coming in just to like like, get the kids, like, right after lunch or in the morning during their playtime and have them go crazy, but occasionally... Uh, I'm there for, like... Occasionally, like, in a different job that I worked in, I've had to, like... go into a class and like teach it and stuff and that and I've substitute teached and stuff like that. That's a little bit different. 
I'm still better at being like Mr. Nice Guy though. It's true, I'm a music educator. Music and theater is ultimately what I'm teaching. Subbing is a different story. Subbing, I've, I've like, I, I don't like the substitutes. <laughs> That's a tough fucking job. <laughs> yeah, I'm a non-traditional teacher. It's, it's true. I don't like to call myself that. I'm more. I look to be. I'm an entertainer. Whoa, what, what they, this ladder, like, they, they, like, stopped animating rungs on it towards the top. You're right, time to go for a slingshot. <laughs> so I believe the goal of this game is to find all the kids. But I'll tell you what, I performed in front of audiences, adults and kids. Kids are, like, way tougher. It's like... <laughs> they're brutal. Like, if a kid doesn't find what you're doing funny, holy shit. <laughs> and usually it's how you react. Like, one kid's energy can, like, can ruin the whole room. And, and like, encourage other kids to be like, this is stupid. So you almost have to, it's like, go into prison punching the, the toughest guy or something like that, they'd say in the movies. Like, when you go to a classroom, you see who the fucking alpha asshole is in the classroom. And you cater to that kid a little bit and make sure he's having a good time. And he, like, kind of brings some of the Shire kids in. And it's like, oh, everyone have a good time. That's one thing I like to do. Like, you, you say, oh, that kid's, like... That kid's, like, coming in there with a big frown on his face. If I can make him laugh in the first 30 seconds, like, like I have the whole class. It's, you see that shit in the movies, too. Like, I learned that from fucking, uh, Dangerous Minds and fucking La Bamba. Not La Bamba. The, what was the fucking, uh, fucking, uh... Sergeant Bilko, the Danny DeVito one, Renaissance Man, there was the one with, uh, I say La Bamba because, what's his name, the guy who played, uh, I can't think of his name, Lou Diamond Phillips is in it, I forget what it's called, Stand and Deliver, like, uh, like all those movies, you know, you have to, you have to get the fucking Vinny Barbarino, you, you gotta get the big kid, <laughs> Before he, like that, you know, the tough kid in the class, the one, the, the alpha kid, to so the other kids seem like it's okay for them to have a good time. Like I've seen kids having a good time, and they look to a kid that isn't having a good time, and then they're like, okay, I'm not having a good time anymore. This is almost a bad thing. <laughs> Having some of these. Oh, I already was on this one. The Young Indie Chronicles. Some of these games I probably have played before. A lot of wrestling games on this particular drive. This is like a whole series of games I've never heard of. Is this a game about Silvio from The Sopranos? I've definitely played Separation Anxiety before, but I've played more of Venom and Spider-Man. Oh, I know what I was trying to get to. 
Should I make you guys watch me play Tetris? That'd be great. I wanted to see if I had Battle Toads and Double Dragon. Color a dinosaur? You know we gotta play that. Still gotta play that. <laughs> Deserves its own stream. Like, like, I'm a, like I wanna play this, like, but... Deserves its own stream. Championship Bowling? Should we play some Wii Bowling? In some ways, it's probably one of the most ingenious games ever designed. I agree, Tetris is probably one of the most brilliantly designed games ever. There it is, okay. So there's a Nintendo one, and there's a Super Nintendo one. Let's play the Super Nintendo one. <laughs> they ended up charging, like, it ended up being a fucking mess. I tried to do some test streams of that, and like streaming the game while playing the game on PlayStation now, it just didn't work. Well, I'm gonna die a lot, so let's start with Pimple. Excuse me. used to this shit. I keep sorry, I keep using I keep using the jump button to try to to try to uh punch. So that's jump, that's punch, that's jump two. Kind of a kick. It was like trying to stream it and play it at the same time for me, it just didn't work with my, like, wireless. It kept telling me, like, I couldn't do it. My wireless fucking sucks. That's why I lose, uh, why, like, my streams freeze and I get, like, weird shit when I try to... The podcast, I do line in because my wireless sucks that bad. Fucking piece of shit. There's a lot of games to choose from. Like a shit ton of really good games. Like I had fun, I definitely had fun playing them. Every time I tried to stream them, my system was like, can't do that. This is 
fun. I still like Turtles in Time better. Ooh. I'm gonna check out the Double Dragon characters and see how they play if they play differently. I remember playing this before. I want to say maybe I played the Nintendo version, and I'll check that one out too. Ooh. I did not want to, uh, continue. Because I want to pick a different character. Definitely like the Double Dragon characters better. Or this, or maybe it was the maybe it was the battle the battle toad I picked. I definitely like Billy better than Pimple. <laughs> yeah, this is the SNES one a game. I just wanted to check out the Double Dragon character on this one. I'll play the Nintendo one after this. Ooh. Ooh. I can add I can add Genesis and Sega Saturn and Game Boy games to this as well. I just have to add some ROMs to it. It's just time consuming to add games to it and do the whole process again. So I've been lazy about it. And there's still a lot of games that I already have on here I haven't played yet. But I know I've had a couple requests for some, I mentioned earlier, for some Saturn games. And I think someone requested the Dreamcast game too. So I will try to get those games. This game's not fucking around, by the way. Oh, fuck. Motherfucker. Oof. He's getting my ass handed to me. I think it can handle this out, I'm pretty sure. I want to say it can even emulate PlayStation games or something. We shall see. I'm definitely going to experiment with that stuff. So now let's check out the regular Nintendo version of it. Absolutely. So of course it looks so much better on this on the regular Nintendo. <laughs> I think this is definitely the one I played before. I think I coughed something up that looked like my character last night after eating some, uh, salad. Oh, fuck. Hmm. 
Even though this one looks like shit. Maybe because I've played it before, and I've play, played Battletoads on the Nintendo more than the Super Nintendo. Or maybe this one's just easier. Like, I feel like I'm better at this one. <laughs> Music's still decent for, an for NES game. Generally, the backgrounds look pretty good. I don't like the design of the Battletoad. I, I think they look so much better in their own game. I think the Battletoad looks looks lazily drawn or made. We'll see how the Double Dragon characters look, but... Like, if I have regular Battletoads from the Nintendo on here, which I'm not sure if I do, I'd love to see the difference because I want to say they look better in, their, in that game. Come on. Oh. This candy? Can I have some candy? Hey, Kyote. Bastard. Give me more candy. This guy doesn't look friendly. But I'm a fucking giant fucking green machine. Well, I'm a dead green machine. Oh, I am the ultimate team. I want to check out one of the double dragon characters. Okay, Double Dragon characters look better than they look in their NES game. Looks a little bit closer to the arcade version, so... Interesting, uh... Parallel there. Yeah, just different hair. And what am I whipping him with? Like, when I'm coming around with the, with my come around move, 
Am I whipping out my dick and hitting him with it? Is that what's going on here? Is it like... Ooh. Is it, yeah, oh. I guess it's supposed to be my leg, but... doing to that thing too it looks looks very awfully suggestive They're like timed assaults here. Fucker. You 2D nightmare. Come here. If I do nothing else, it's gonna be kill you. E-Honda move on me and shit. I'm not good right now. Look at them all beat up in the corner. So that's... So, it's interesting. I think I like the Battletoads better like to play with in that game, and Double Dragon to play better in the Super Nintendo one. It's the fucking E. Oh, we do have regular Battletoads. Okay. I'm, I'm just curious. I guess they look the same. I guess it was my imagination that they looked better. I take it back. <laughs> maybe it was, maybe in my memories. Funny, like, I was just gonna joke when you guys were joking to his name, I was just gonna say, Eddie. I always thought it was Eddie Honda. <laughs> but yeah, Eric works better. I don't know if it's a frog, it looks like something I coughed up in my salad last night. <laughs>
frogs jumping in the air, hitting flying pigs. My Tuesday afternoon is complete. I'm fine with this game. Well, I know a lot of people think this game's really hard. In this level, and in these levels, I'll tell you right when I get to the point where I want to quit this game. I think I can even... I'm even okay with this one. I want to say it's the next level, the one that I, I always have the most trouble with. Hello my honey, hello my baby, hello my ragtime gal, give me a kiss my love, maybe my heart's on fire. If you refuse me, honey, you lose me, ooh, I'll be left alone, baby, telephone, and tell me I'm you. Oh, fuck. Fuck. I'm off with this. Bastard. Bastard son of a mouser. What the fuck? No more. Come on, if Bill and Ted could go down a giant hole, I can too. Come on. Oh shit. Shit, no. No. It's true. Broke, you're right. The lesson is never sing. I always thought when I first played this game as a kid that the tur that the frogs in this were actually the frogs that were the turtles' cousins in the old Ninja Turtles cartoon. The Bayou Frogs or whatever their names were. Come on, big metal thing, would you do this to Kermit? Rasputin Frog, is that one of their names? I think they're all named after...
Did I really just die from a crow? Did Katie Crow just come up and kill me? Last time. Hi, Lotus. Yeah. I just want to be the... Yep. Game over. No, no, no. No more. No more of this. No more. Rasputin, Napoleon, Genghis Frog, and Attila the Frog. Thank you, Alan. What was awesome about this game is you could play it four players. <laughs> Forever since I played this game. Oh, fuck. I think the goal is to collect Freddy's bones to fucking kill him or something. how the screen kind of fades and shit. There's an arrow pointing down. Why can't I go down? I'm not gonna sit here and die again because of that. Oh, jump on the spiders. Nope. Jumping on the spiders doesn't work. Oh wait, I just punched the spider in the face. So I guess my fist can fight spiders, I just have to hit them from the right angle. It's just 
use very specific hit detection. They have to be at a vet they have to be at a certain distance from you. Is this lying to me, or is this a Freddy trap? It's gotta be a Freddy trap, right? Select, start, hold. Up. Both buttons together. Okay. S Steph's the same way with spiders. She can't handle it. She's a lot better than she used to. But she still can't fucking handle it. Oh, you hear this music? Freddy's coming? What the fuck? Freddy's coming? You motherfucking Fred, you burnt motherfucking bastard son of a thousand maniacs. Come here, you fucking Pizza the Hut looking son of a bitch. Eat this. You're a pussy, Freddy. Oh, yeah, Fred. Freddy. Fuck Freddy. Freddy Krueger, I fucked him. Oh! Hickory dickory dock. Freddy Krueger was sucking my cock. One, two, Freddy. I fucked up Freddy... Something, ooh. Three, four, Freddy's mom was a whore. These fucking weird head spiders are a bigger problem than Freddy. That shouldn't be an issue. Like, whatever this shit I'm dreaming about, these big headed, these big head Todd and the monsters spiders that are going on around here, I think they're the issue, not Freddy Krueger. Not what Freddy's doing to the fucking kids of Elm Street. Not what the parents did to Freddy. It's the infestation of these big-headed fucking spider things, whatever the fuck they are. And ghosts. No, the ghosts are, the ghosts are less of a problem than Freddy. Oh, no, no, one just killed me. Do I want to continue? I don't know. That's an interesting question. <laughs> I don't know if I want to. This one just not work. Frozen. Ooh, are you guys watching the Lord of the Rings movies? Try this one? Did I, am I, 
pack in time. Again, like back in time. Oh, I gotta, I gotta turn this fucking shit. Oh, Pac Man. Nice, I do have a uh, rabbit account. What the fuck is... What? This is Pac-Man? This is what you did to Pac-Man? You wonder why the series is a joke? do with this ring? I can't eat it. Oh, I go through the ring. Oh, yeah, it's very creative. Is this a kid's game? Could this be a kid's game? No, because the platforming is actually... I've never seen this game before, and I want to pretend it does doesn't exist. They tried to turn Pac-Man into Sonic the Kirby. I mean, I guess it's tough for Namco, because they definitely created a memorable video game character. But it's like, where do you go with Pac-Man? all the things I need to be able to exit the board. But I want to exit the board. But in Pac-Man style, you have to eat everything. And now what, I'm stuck down here? Oh no, I can... Dude, the, pa the Spider-Man Pac-Man powers. Somewhere within here, there could be a potential for a decent game. But no. Like, I need to play regular Pac-Man just to wa wipe that taste out of my mouth. Ah. Uh, the simplicity of Pac-Man. The first game I was obsessed with. Nothing like Pac-Man. So why didn't you try to recreate something like this to go into the future? Why does every other Pac-Man game try to pretend that Pac-Man doesn't exist and try to do something different? I understand adventure games, you know, you want to go like side scroller or something, but Stay with the concept. The ghosts are trying to kill Pac-Man. Pac 
He gets power pellets, becomes superstars. I think where they were going good with it is when they try to keep to the Pac-Man formula and then just do something new or different. Like Pac-Mania or something like that. Or Super Pac-Man or something like that. This was definitely a good emulation of Pac-Man from the arcade, especially compared to the ones that you had to deal with before that on, like, the 2600. 7800 had a pretty good one, 5200 had a pretty good one, but that 2600 one, the first one I was obsessed with, mind you, god, that game sucked. I talk about that a lot. It just didn't look right. It didn't play right. It was enough to get me hooked to the concept of Pac-Man, Pac -Man, but like a game like Kangarooski got me addicted to Donkey Kong without even knowing it because it was a Donkey Kong ripoff. It's interesting the triggers that get you into different things. Ooh. I hate when I have like just two dots to go. I know Kyote, I always miss the chests. It's what I was gonna say something really bad. I've heard that all my life. You always miss the chests. Oh shit. I totally deserve to die there, bro. A couple times. I've been lucky as fuck in these Pac-Man games. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ah! Oh shit, I'm so fucked here. <laughs> I should look at the chat. I gotta put the chat when I do these video game streams in my line of sight. So I don't have to look away from the games, especially in these 16-bit and 8-bit games. You're keeping your eyes on the screen at all times is of paramount importance. Oh shit, I'm all I'm all frazzled now. I'm out of Out of power pellets. We see where my suckitude truly exists. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Let me get the right amount of spit on the Super Nintendo controller. Oh shit! You put me on tilt. I'm on tilt. Yep, I'm blaming Kyote. <laughs> no, it's my sucker dude. Let's see if I can make it. My only goal was to make it out of this board alive. Can I do it? Can I do it? I did it! Yeah, bitch! My favorite one in the arcade was uh, Super Pac-Man. I love Super Pac-Man. And then there was a Pac-Man Jr. game in the arcade that was part pinball machine, part... Ah! Part sort of Pac-Man game. Oh, fuck. Almost. Almost. So that wasn't bad. That was a pretty good Pac-Man run. I almost want to play one more, but Pac-Man's so simple to watch. One more, fuck you guys. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love you guys. <laughs> one more game of Pac-Man. It's just one of those games that I could literally zone out to for hours, even if I'm good or bad at it. Similar to Tetris, it's one of those games that I need to be careful or I will... I'll play it for six or seven hours. <laughs> Not that much. But I'll play it, play it for like two hours of just like zoning out the Pac-Man. The 
Like, I might not even play through a whole thing, I just want to play one more. I want to gobble some more ghosts because it feels so good. Oh yeah, come to me, come to me, blueies. Come to me, you ghost fucking monster bastards. You gotta pry this power pellet out of my cold, dead hand. Yeah, come on. Get a little closer, you fuck. A little closer, you motherfucking fuck. Come on. Come on, you ghost monster. Yeah, take it. Take it, ghost monster. Anyone else want some? Oh, shit. Yeah, Tetris I could play for hours, even though I suck at it. Pac-Man's just one of those games I just zone out to. It's like meditation. You're in the chomp 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 Fuck, 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 fuck. Get over there. Get over there, Packy. Get over there, you gotta beat him. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Don't get in my way, you blue ghost monster motherfucker. That one ghost monster is kind of the smart guy. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I fucked that up. I fucked that up again. Make it. Yes! That wasn't some bad pet. The, the lines definitely look like Tetris lines. All of them. The one I'm going around right now looks like that uh, double set. Oh, I've... Oh, wow. I definitely deserve to be dead right there. Shit! Whoa, what the fuck? I already beat my high score though, so I'm happy. You know I'm trying to cause it when I get really quiet, it's just like, suddenly it's the sound of nothing. Oh fuck, I'm- f Oh, you were such a stupid ghost monster. No, no, you, you heard me. You heard me, I'm the stupid Pac-Man. I get it, I get the hierarchy. I can be stupid too. He chased me all the way around when he heard me call him stupid. Sorry, Mr. Ghost Monster. I meant ghost sense neglected or something. Oh fuck. He's still coming. Bo Jackson him around. Whoops. Ow, ow, fuck! My finger failed me there. My, uh, my not so, my Nintendo thumb isn't the best it could be right now. I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> it takes a serious commitment to wield the Super Nintendo controller right. You need to get, you need to build up a callus to that fucking, that left thumb. Okay. 
So now, I have one hope. Get all these. I gotta get to 200,000 to get an extra life. Oh, fuck! Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuckity fuck, 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 fuck. History of fuck. Lots of fuck. Puppy fuck. So, that was a little bit of Pac-Man. <laughs> Just a fucking piece of shit, motherfucker. I think this might be the game you were talking about, Pac-Man 2 The New Adventures. We talked about it a couple times and I joked about it earlier, but... What the fuck is going on here? Rotate. What's going on? This isn't the Tetris I'm used to. Wait. What's going on here? No. No, this isn't happening. I don't like this Tetris. This is not my Tetris. This is Tetris 3 and 1, 6 and 1. Down to rotate it, and then A to do that. Okay. Just gotta get used to the. Oh, I fucking. I... See that? See? Ah, I want. I want. The... I want the controls to be flipped. It's screwing me up. I want. I want the A button to flip it around, and I want to be able to push down to make the block go down. Like, my brain right now, the way I play Tetris, is trained to do that. I can't do it backwards. It's gonna fucking kill me. It's gonna fucking kill me. It's gonna fucking kill me. I can't do it. I can't fucking do it. Never. No. No. It's not happening. It's this, uh, Tetris and Dr. Mario. Well, it's not... Believe me, I'm not great at Tetris, but, like, it's that my Tetris brain's backwards. That hurt me right there. Yes, it's a little painful. But it wasn't because you think. Let's see, hopefully this will be better. Yes, good. A does not drop it. I don't know what drops it actually, but all my buttons just push it down. I don't know what throws it down quick though. That's the one thing I've been able to figure out in this one. There's gotta be a button that, that drops it quick, right? There always is. Select. See, in the one I'm the Tetris I'm most used to, you just push up on the controller or something like that. Or... And then the one I played, I think you could like uh, 
pulled off on certain ones. I don't want this right now, and this is what there's some Tetrises where you can like store it away and, and go back to it later. I like I like I like Tetrises where they give you all these fucking options and shit. The Nintendo one did it, but again, I reiterate, the controls were fucking back ass backwards. I love that battle uh, Tetris game where you like get you get like weapons and shit like that, and you can. Uh, it's one of the most. I had the one for the Wii Virtual Console, and that was one of the games that Stephanie and I got like right towards the beginning of our relationship. And like, a lot of our friends would come by, and we'd have like that would be we'd end up playing that party game towards the end of our Wii life cycle instead of like Wii Sports or something like that, like with non-gamers just like as a uh, part of it because everyone can play Tetris for good or bad. But there's some really good iterations of or versions, I mean not trying to use a big word, <laughs> versions of uh, Tetris out there. Yeah, the best are when you can save them. Like, like certain ones you're just like, uh, I don't want to use this right now. This one I can't save and I can't fast drop, or I haven't figured out how to fast drop yet. Oh, I can see next? Wait. I can turn on. But I can turn on and off to see next. That's a good feature, I guess. Why would I not want to see next? A bigger challenge? Fuck that. I don't want a big challenge. I want to win. This is really tough. Oh no! Oh, oh! I think the Tetris people are probably most. Oh, I, just, I totally fucked that up. Are most familiar with our uh, is the Game Boy version. Probably the most, the most played version of Tetris ever. Probably driving Kyoto crazy. She's like, no, don't put it there. Don't put it there. What, what, what the fuck's your fucking problem, Phil? I thought we were friends. That's not where you put that. Oh, what an asshole. I used to like this guy till I saw the way he plays Tetris. It's a very personal thing. It's like certain games where it's like, unless you're an expert or something, it's like hard to stream because Tetris is a very much uh No, 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 no don't do that. No, what are you doing? Don't, don't take a left. That's not how you get there. Do you know nothing about directions? Stop it. In some of the newer Tetrises, it's even, like, cheatier, where they give you shadows and stuff, so you can, like, line it up correctly. I feel like that kind of Tetris makes you weak, though. Uh, 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 Yeah, the one that gives you the shadow, that's, uh, that's, oh, you want to be weak at Tetris? Here you go. That's the participation trophy of Tetris right there. Oh, you fuck. Yeah, Stephanie can't watch me play Tetris. 
That's why the only way we can both play this game is if we're playing, uh, like, a battle one or something. I don't know if I've ever played this version of Tetris, though, this Dr. Mario vs. Tetris thing. But I like this version of it. It's pretty simple. Come on, I really need, a. Uh... Fuck it up now. Things are getting tight. Could you give me a big long one, please? Give me another big long one, please. I gotta do it. Oh fuck, I I could have waited one more time. This is where my mistakes come back to pay me. So what my teachers used to always say, fill up ya, mistakes are gonna come back and get ya in Tetris. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm so fucked. I am so fucked. I am so fucked. So, I guess this is how it feels to be, you know, towards the end of something. You know it's over. Pretty bad. What, 37 lines? play Tetris again right now. Howard. Fuck you, Howard. I totally just beat your score, Howard. Howard can eat it. So, I want to say I played this one before here on a stream. But let's try it again, since we're going through Tetris and going through game. A couple different, you know, versions of games. second. I'll do Tetris Attack next. Um, oh, I have played this one. This one's pretty fun. But I feel like it's a lot- it's like a lot of games that want to be Tetris. And I can see where they were going between this one and some of the newer Tetrises that came. I did play this one on the stream once. I think I like this one. And the one I don't like, and I don't know if I have it, is the one that's like 3D Tetris or something. I think that one kind of sucks, even though I see some potential in a 3D Tetris. This reminds me a little bit of Columns. Like, Tetris was influenced by Columns. Columns is an underrated one of these kind of games. I mean, there's a lot of games like this. Tetris started a genre onto itself where there's like hundreds upon th almost probably a thousand <laughs> Tetris-like clones. And I, and I actually really liked Columns at the time it came out, I remember. It's been a while, maybe I wouldn't like it now. But this is pretty cool. The worst part of this game is that fucking TV in the background. Like, that's annoying. Like, in the middle of my screen. Like, right... But, uh, but yeah, I like this game. I think Ste Stephanie would really like this, too.
Yeah, this just makes me nice and happy and calm. And, and fuck that. No one wants that kind of emotion. Oh, I totally need to go to my fucking... We have a new partnership coming soon. Someone sent me a package and I need to do one of those fucking, like, unbox the package and talk about it. This could go very good. This could be a very quick partnership if I don't like what I see in that box. <laughs> we'll see. I should put the show Traveler is on my list of shows to watch. Oh, thank you, fucking people, bill companies that are set that are clogging up my emails because I pay my fucking bills, telling me Happy Thanksgiving. You know, like I don't give a shit. I know what you're doing. You don't care about my Happy Thanksgiving. What you care about is you have this hooked up in your thing. You set up your automatic reminders, automatic email updates to make us think we're thinking of you. So I'm gonna contact you to try to do something in case I need any service to make money. It's a different. It's a fucking ploy to fucking get me to contact you motherfuckers. Fuck you. Fuck your ass. You you don't wish me a happy anything. You just want to fucking get me to... It's a fucking... It's fucking stupid. It's a certain kind of scam that I can't think of the word. Like a hook scam. Whatever. It's a ball... Eat a balls scam. Like, eat my ball scam. Should I touch this attack? Bustin' makes me feel good. Hi, Yoshi. I don't know if I've played this before. You guys can hear Lotus snoring. Okay, this is all well and good for a game like this, but this isn't Tetris. How does this at all resemble Tetris? It, it, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Yoshi. The game Yoshi for the Nintendo. So why don't they just call it Yoshi 2? And it seems to be a Yoshi game since Yoshi's in it. Why do you call this fucking Tetris? Broke, that's why I say birth control and blood tests to ever get this stick, you know? Condoms are natural and plus they feel like shit. You need a woman that we can trust. So we know, you know, if we decide to have sex with her, that our dicks won't turn to dust. Like, that's why, you know? Like, find someone you can trust. Get, get those birth control and blood tests. <laughs> yeah, it's more bejeweled -y. Kyote. Ultimately, it's a message about trust. That song actually came about of a friend told me that challenged me to be able to write a song about anything, and he's like, I, I was like, give me two completely random things.
I don't know if you guys could hear Lotus snoring there. well and fun game, but again, this isn't Tetris. This is, uh, as Kyoto was saying, this is Bejeweled or Yoshi-like. Yeah. No. It's an embarrassment to the name Tetris. I am trying. I was doing good. Take a trip to the theme park, everybody. Set up a new theme park. Return to the park. Enter my nickname. Is this like a kingdom, like a, like am I building it? It cost of $12 million, my balance is 200,000. Million, 75. What the god fuck is going on here? So the only place I can afford to build it in is United Kingdom. Cost zero, it's free to build it in the United Kingdom. Okay, so I'm pushing A. I'm buying the land, it's free. Days are just flying by, like, I gotta build it quick? What, what's going on? Oh my god. Why is time flying? So, so much. It's already March? I can't even place this thing. <laughs> Obviously a game that I would have to read the instruction manual before figuring out what in fucking fucks vagina's going on there. Couple more games. I think I did play this Tom and Jerry before, and I was disappointed. <laughs> no, it totally said February 31st. <laughs> I didn't get you saying that before, but you're right, it totally did. Hi, good girl. Wake up.
I don't know if I played Super Double Dragon. I guess it goes with our theme today of Double Dragon games. Or a theme. I, well, the fact that I played a lot of Double Dragon games. Uh, I think I am going to need to pause just for one second. Um, it's I'm, I'm low on sandwich meat. If I'm gonna do that, if I'm gonna do one more beat 'em up, I need to uh, dine on turtle stew here a little bit. Now, should I do the cannabis cup winning food? I mean, excuse me, or this other kind of food? I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of this food. Did I say cannabis? No, I didn't say cannabis. Yeah, I don't know if I've played this one. Is this just a remake of the original Double Dragon? See, I've talked about this a lot. It's that I didn't really have a Super Nintendo in that time period. I I've s told the story probably too many times on video game streams, but whatever. Like, my video game cycle goes from arcade to Pong machines to 2600 to 7800 to Nintendo Entertainment System to getting a Super Nintendo for five minutes and then eventually, at the time when you could actually trade things in pretty well, uh, trade straight up a, my Super Nintendo for Sega Genesis. I totally fell for the Sega marketing campaign. <laughs> Nintendo don't, man. And then played the fuck out of my Genesis. Eventually, towards... Uh, played the fuck out of my Genesis, got... Someone, my Genesis died, and then someone gave me their Genesis, which was the one with the Sega CD on it, so I had a Sega CD at that point, too. Then, eventually, I upgraded to a Nintendo 64. Then, at the 64 for a long time, eventually, the next generation getting a GameCube at first. And then I always had the GameCube because it had a busted tray, so I could never return it. Even though the GameCube worked really well, it was like the tray would stick sometimes. So when I tried to t turn it in, and people were like, "Oh, you can't fucking turn this in." And I liked the GameCube, but I wanted a PlayStation 2 at that time because I wanted a DVD player. And then I got a PlayStation 2. Then eventually I got an Xbox for like briefly at the end of that cycle just to play uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Sorry, analysis. And then. The next generation I went 360, 360 Wii, and this generation I've been going PS3, Wii U, Switch. Was Nintendo whore up until the PlayStation 2, we were Nintendo all the way, but please- Oh, and my, my whole point is saying that. And then around the time that I got the Wii, no, it was before that, it was, it was around the Nintendo 64 time, I sort of got back into retro gaming, and I got myself a, a Atari 2600 that I played for a while, then I got myself a, another Nintendo, and this was before you they had virtual console, so it was with Nintendo 64 time. And then eventually I was like, I gotta get re-get the Super Nintendo, and that's when I played Right after I played Ocarina, like almost right after I played Ocarina, before Majora's Mask came out, I played The Link to the Past for the first time. And I was like, holy shit. And then I played some Super Nintendo games, but I never quite like got into collecting cartridges. So I didn't get into Super Nintendo again until the Wii Virtual Console, and then I ended up getting, always getting more Nintendo games because I was more familiar with them. What the fuck? I don't like how this fights. What was wrong with Double Dragon after the first couple of games? What?
It doesn't even look like he's punching with his fist. It looks like he's like tapping with his hand. <clears throat> and he's doing the crane technique there. Oh, the kicks are a lot better. Okay, the kicks. I like the kicks a lot. You can you can angle the kicks left, right. I mean, up and down and stuff. I still don't like how this game looks. This isn't pretty for a Super Nintendo game. Ooh. It's all right though. Oh. Maybe I just gotta get used to it. You move kind of slow too, a little sludgy. Oh, good, Kyoto. I always worry about that with playing these type of games because it's like a lot about button mashing. Oh, yeah, Michelangelo, motherfucker. Oh, you chuck. But this dude, boomerangs. Oh. Hello, my name is Anigo Michelangelo. You stole my pizza. Prepare to die. I hate that because I went inside. I lose my nunchuck. Now I get to be Donatello. Come on. Donatello does machines. Oh, come on. Ow. I gotta admit, my thumb is starting to hurt from all these beat em up games, but again, that's just weakness talking. You motherfuck! Yeah, there's too much soft button play going on these days, you know. Tur every everywhere is turbo. <laughs> Am I just flexing? Is that the flex button? Look at my look at my muscles. That's probably block. Ah, you fuck. Oh, I gotta fight through that fucking pain. That's pride fucking with me. I don't have it in me for this one. This is a tough one. Oh. These dudes, I'm like fighting the world tag team champions here. Hulkamaniacs going on here. Oh. I'm not going out like that, but I don't know if I can do. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to play this one again. Yeah, it's Hawk and the Animal, the Legion of Doom. The Road Warriors.
in-game cheat buttons? What, what the fuck is going on? I don't want... Well, that song was fucking amazing. Wow, this is not a beat-em-up game. I was expecting this to be a total beat-em-up game. Instead, this is the arcade's revenge. Totally, again, I, I totally expect this to be a beat-em-up. I think the arcade version is a beat-em-up. Why can't I just climb up all the wall? Like, I, you stop at the top of the wall and then I have to fucking web-sling over there? Stupid. I definitely do I definitely do not remember this. Spider sense. Look at the background. That looks fucking cool. Jumping's not too bad in this game, like, it feels pretty good, but look at that background. That's awesome. I like that a lot. I can't hold on to the fucking... Okay, I know what I gotta do. This is fucking... My lazy gamer ass right now. Wait, which one is it? Okay, that's it. Okay, so this. Ah! A lot better if I could be Storm right now and just fly. Ah, come on, jump off the fucking wall.
So, I get, I'm, get that I'm supposed to be collecting all the lights and shit, but, like... It's really all this, all this game is? I'm sure it gets different or cooler. Such an idiot. Spider-Man does not want to get ready. <laughs> Spider-Man The Return of the Sinister Six. I don't know if I've played this one. as a kid. <laughs> I always forget. This is one of those games that I like better in my memory than reality because I always forget how hard it is.
This one, of course, in the arcade, if anyone's seen it in the arcade, has a wheel, I believe. Ooh. I never made it far enough in this game, but I guess you eventually get to a point in this game where you go to a boat, too. Couple more games. Wait a second, was Animal Crossing released today? Actually, for the first time in a long time, actually excited for the release of a mobile game. Yep, Animal Crossing just got released today. Oh no, it's still coming soon. I definitely played the super one. But no, it, for some reason it was trending today. It says new and updated, but it it's up listed on new and updated, but Oh no, it's here it is, install. I'm installing it right now. Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Yep, it's literally installing right now. <laughs> that looks like uh, the Orville. Eating pizza, watching the last four episodes of Punisher, and playing Animal Crossing Mobile. It's such a weird, like, this week, this Thanksgiving week feels weird. Today feels like a Friday to me for some fucking reason. I can't quite explain it. Like, I wanted a console Animal Crossing game, but compared to any other Nintendo franchise, there's n there's none that fits as well as Animal Crossing for mobile.
music in this game is unbelievably awesome. <laughs> Tecmo Bowl music. Is this a Tecmo game? I didn't say. The blue is in control. Choose the unit to be moved. Yep, nope. I've stepped into the Twilight Zone. Of course. Makes sense. I'm ready. Are you ready? Like the graphics? 
in that section. that build up I was expecting something more. It's a functioning side scroller. If you jump, clumsy hero in full effect. Bum bum ba bum bum. Dude. <laughs> we'll find a good one. <clears throat> the cool spot game. What was the cool spot a trademark of? Was it seven up? I need to do some organiza organization. I was gonna say organize. Whoa. Okay, I'm immediately interested. What the fuck is going on? Fuck. Talk to you soon, Broke. I'll be ending pretty soon anyway, man. Thank you for sticking with me. I don't know what kind of game this is going to be, but this is some serious shit. Well, I feel like I'm really, you know, coming in the middle of something here. Is there no sound to this game? What the? Here we go. And there's zombies too? The gameplay in this is fun, this is a chance of being- that was just the intro? With all this build up, the gameplay in this game can't be good. Dr. Barrows, huh? We're gonna have to talk to Dr. Barrows. The so called Mafia. Oh, they don't know who they're fucking with. It's about time for a side scrolling adventure here. It's all gonna amount to like a shitty side scroller. Keep me away from the game for this long for it to be good.
That guy looks creepy when he talks. Darkness washed over the dude. Can I skip this? Yep, I was unfortunately right. All of that lead up for side scroller. A shitty one at that. Like, I literally, from all of that, you're just walking straight ahead, beating nameless dudes. With kicks that love guns. And you didn't carry a gun. And then the game's over. You die once and the game's over. game's a fucking disappointment. I got all excited from the lead-up of that. No. Can't fucking be good, can it? I've played all the arcade classics. Gotta play this one too. Girlfriend alone. Fuck you, Mario should be able to jump that far.
Whoa, I'm gonna have a seizure playing this. Bless you. Two more, two more games. And then I'll... Doom Troopers? Dream TV keeps popping out to me. Again, I need to make a checklist or something. Because I feel like maybe I've played this before. It was too hard to figure out what the fuck was going on. No, I have not played this. What the fuck is this? Strange. Oh, this must be a two-player game. Controls of this game are actually kind of solid. Seems like it would be a fun two-player game. Jumping sucks, but moving's alright. Look at a fucking bear! I'm fighting a bear. I'll have to try this out with a friend if I get one. <laughs> that was one, I guess. One last game. This one was a weird one. Does that say Jaguar CD? Snow White, Happily Ever After? Gotta be good, right? Snow White Happily Ever After, right? In a Snow White game, if you're a kid, what do you want in it? Snow White or the Seven Dwarfs? Who the fuck am I? 
like you're the dwarfs you hang out with Snow White was it, I'm sure that wasn't the Snow Brothers I say I've tried these before, but like holy shit, one, two, three, four, five. It's five of those fucking games. It makes me want to make myself like it. These are the same games, I haven't made it through them all yet. Hmm. Try Sonic Blast 2. I gotta go download a bunch of ROMs and shit like that and resync my system and go through the whole process of hacking it again to add more games. I'm lazy. So, should I be Sonya? Sonic Blaster Man? Well, the game's called Sonic Blaster Man, so let's start with Sonic Blaster Man. last pick. Now this is fucking awesome. Maybe I wish the hit detection was a little bit better, but that could be because of the emulation. And I'm just not getting the hang of it quite yet, but... This game is fucking awesome. This game's fucking fun. <laughs> Whoa. Like the incredible help that's gonna find me. another you can play this one two players just noticed that oh, fuck Mm -hmm. 
Wow. Like, I'm not even, like, there's so many combinations and shit that I'm not realizing what to do. Everything I'm doing now is butt mashing. It seems to be a lot of fucking options. This is a very good game. This is a very good beat em up that I've never heard of before. I kind of want to try the other two characters out now. Yeah, Alan, it's ridiculous. I can't believe I didn't play this game when I was a kid. Oh. Kinda has a feel- This is gonna sound weird, it kinda feels like a Genesis game. Oh no, I mean, it actually feels the way when you're playing it a little bit, like Turtles in Time, too. Is the first one also on Super Nintendo, or was the first one on regular Nintendo? Or is it just called 2 and there's never a first one? <laughs> Crazy boss. Fuck. moves I'm, I'm not figuring it out Downloading Animal Crossing destroy my phone. I'm fucking in love with this game right now. Besides Turtle and besides Turtles in Time, it's my favorite beat 'em up I've played today. I wish you could move. I wish you moved a little bit faster and the hit detection was a little bit better. There's so much variance in what you can do in a fighting standpoint. It adds a ton to this game. And I haven't even played with the other two characters. I don't know how different they are. Shit like that. 
Ah, oh, it was an arcade game first. Makes sense. I definitely want to play this arcade game. Predator looking fuck. Ice cream Sunday, that's so random. Awesome fucking game. Cool. I was I was just gonna wonder if you could just change guys like that when you die. That's perfect. So now I can try these three guys. Oh, so this is the bruiser. Fuck, man. So his special move is uh, electrocute everybody on screen. I don't like this guy as much as the first guy, but some people might. He feel, definitely feels different. Oh, nice, pile driver. Or I haven't gone his style yet. It's definitely unique enough to offer you a different kind of gaming experience or kind of a cool different character if, you're, if you like this style of fighting better. More bruisier, like a bruiser. I'm guessing it's gonna be like the Superman. I think the Superman 2 villains. This guy's the big dumb one. Big guy like Chocolate Sunday. I was gonna complain that you couldn't do that. But they... they caught my complaining. Oh. 
guessing the thing with the little death sign on it kills me, right? Prisoners, you fucking son of a fox. Can I let him go? I have all this tech and I can't cut a rope. So I gotta leave you here. I kind of take back what I was saying about hit detection. It's just about getting used to it. This game is fucking sick. And let's try Sonya, the last one. I agree, bro. And the fact you can play this two players, too. I, I can't believe I've never heard of this game. Oh, yeah. Fuck. She might end up being my character, because I tend to like quicker characters in these games. Ooh. Whoa! Where has this game been my whole life? Yeah, she's my favorite. Fucking cake. I kind of get why they do it in a two-player game. They they don't want you to just like automatically run over it and 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 get the power up like in say like Turtles in Time or in the Turbo games with the pizzas. Where it's like, oh, you should take that pizza. It gives you another safeguard, but in a moment 
it fucking sucks. I'm like, I'm trying to pick up the food. The game does a good job at evening it out, the basis here, like, she's de- I, I like her attacks better, but she's definitely weaker than the big dude, and then the dude, the first guy I used is right in the middle. She's still my favorite, though, because with quick, quick attacks, ooh. Fuck, fuck. Not mean to do that there. Uh oh. I remember you. Heavy blast man. I fell into his trap. I won't be able to save the port. No. Oh shit. Some of her attacks remind me of the Marvel vs. Capcom character that like uses the hair. I just realized instead of instead of doing what I was supposed to be doing, I've been playing video games all day. Okay, one more continue, and then I'm going to call it a game. This is a, this is a tough game to put down. Fuck. I was supposed to start soaking the potatoes already. Yeah, I definitely like her the best, even though his special moves are the best.
Yeah, I like the way she moves, but hit, some of his attacks are just crazy. Cool. This is his game after all, so it, may, it would make sense. I don't like how you're jumping. I'm sure you could put water and then, uh, and then hands. There's that, like, huggy hand, the, the creepy, like, I'm hugging you online thing. You could do, uh, water in that. Oh my fuck! I say again, where has this game been my whole life? Oh, thank you, Alan. I'm glad I was able to help you even a little bit through your work day. Some silly video game streaming. And on that note, I'm definitely going to be playing this game again in the future, but I do need to go and start cooking dinner for the wife. <laughs> so, uh, everybody, thank you so much, and... I don't know if I'll be back before the Thanksgiving, so anyone that celebrates that, happy Thanksgiving. And uh, I may be on again, maybe do something special that night, a movie stream or something like that. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. I really should go 12 more minutes to make it an even four hours. But <laughs>